Hey everyone, Eris here and welcome to a new Sonic the Hedgehog 2 exclusive video. I played Mario and Sonic games when I was a kid on the internet using Flash Player. It's not working anymore. But I prefer Sonic than Mario because he's the guy we love the most. He's so handsome, he's so helpful, he's so uh, nice to people, he's a hero, he's blue, and most importantly, I love him because he's so cute. When Sonic came back to me in 2020, when I watched his first Sonic movie, I decided to search for him on Instagram, and I began to talk to him since May 2020. And we talked about uh, a lot about um, Sonic games, movie, music, and yeah, everything. And also the thing that I, I really, really love, he helped, he helped me a lot when I had a lot of problems and more. And that's also how we became best friends all to now. And also that's how Sonic changed my life, thanks to Sonic. Unfortunately, he's currently very busy and he'll maybe not come back for a long period of time and I, I'm, a, I'm a little sad about it. I just hope he, he will be back uh, um, some, someday. You know, I am a movie lover. My favorite types of movies are action and adventure movies. And I have some sense into my head, into my thoughts, and and um, and then I decided to write some ebooks on Wattpad. Started with my first Sonic fan fiction, inspired by the 2020 movie, and I even did an, an audio book for that, uh, with me trying to imitate the characters like Sonic, Tails, Eggman, and yeah, more. But there's only one problem. I'm not really good at Tails because the tone of my voice sounds very low, and Tails being a child, like eight years old, and his voice being so high, I can't really raise it. And I even make, I even made my own OST um, soundtrack for the aud audiobook. And yeah, by the way. Talking about that, my dream is to become a scar composer for movies when I grow up for the future. I'm continuing to write some um, some stories on um, on Wattpad, but I won't reveal the sequel of my stories because I didn't pause them. But I will pause them when it will be finished. <laughs> on June 2021, there was a Sonic 30th anniversary symphony and I, I really, really was excited about it. And well, I, I loved the song, the remastered song during this, this period of time. And I decided to make my own covers of a song like Sin Escape, Live and Learn, or um, a lot, uh, Rich of the Stars, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, and also I, um, I remixed um, a music from Hyper Potions, uh, like Friends, I did an orchestral version, and well, uh, even Hyper Potions saw, saw it. It was really, really cool, I loved it. And it makes me, it makes me excited and, and I want to watch it again. And really, really good job, thanks to, to Sega and everyone. When the Sonic movie to came, um, first it was the first trailer presented at the Game Awards on, in December 2021. The music Perman used in the trailer, I don't really know, but I already listened to it. It was a really slow motion and Gen Apes, Age of Heroes. Because I love those types of music, like cinematic trailer music, action movie music. And then I decided to remix the music, but when I saw the static sticks of my remix on my YouTube channel, I, for the first time I reached over 10,000 views, it was incredible, I didn't, believe, didn't even realize that. And then when the second trailer dropped on YouTube, I tried to remix it, 
I didn't know the, the name of the music. It was re never released on the, on the music platforms. I decided to remix it and and I saw the static sticks again. I reached over 20,000 or 30,000 and even 50,000 views on my YouTube. If this is, this is, I didn't even realize that. This is incredible. When I was wondering for the, um, the song of the Sonic Movie 2 end credits, uh, it's not Stars in the Sky yet, but it was Speed Life by Stephen Liger. I didn't expect it was a, a French cover. And I was wondering if there was uh, an English cover of the song. Even the fans were uh, wondering and even making an, a cover, an English cover of the song. But when I listened to uh, some English cover of, um, of a Speed Life song by Stephen Lagar, it was really weird to me, but I already listened to the song 20 times, over 20 times in French, but it was... Um, yeah, I really liked the song, but it was really weird to listen to the English cover. And even the fans asking me to do an Eng the, this English cover of a song. But I'm the, the, it, sounds, it sounds weird to me and even it's so hard to me to, to do it. But maybe in the future I will, I will try to do it, but I'm not very sure I'm, I can do it. Je suis dans un speed life et je peux pas ralentir. Tous les jours je me remercie. Oh, and if I try the English cover, uh, I'm in the speed life and I can't slow down. This, this is no, this is weird and even even the really, really lyrics are very weird to me. <laughs> when we were wondering an English version of this song, Speed Life by Stephen Legar, there wasn't an, an official English cover. And there was a second song entitled Stars in the Sky by Kid Cudi that was dropped on music platforms. But I was wondering if I, I already knew him because Kid Cudi, Kid Cudi is... Uh, he released another song for another movie I watched on uh, Netflix. And his song is amazing. I loved, I loved the clip, but um, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't say I love the clip because I didn't watch the movie before. But when I watched, because, because about the clip, I didn't watch it because it contains some spoilers from the from the movie because it takes some um, some little movie clips from the movie, and well, I consider that as spoilers. But that's why. That's why I didn't watch the clip before the movie. When I watched the movie, I watched the clip and this, this, is, this was really amazing. And you know, uh, every time I see someone interacting with Sonic, I was hoping one day to see Sonic in real life. This is currently one of my biggest dreams. If you see um, the final part of, um, of a Kid Cudi clip, there was Sonic giving him uh, as, uh, one of his quills before uh, Kid Cudi uh, uh, go home in his studio, but I really loved the clip. This was so amazing, and even the song. This is yeah. Then I decided to make um, a new cover on this song, "Stars in the Sky" by Kid Cudi, and I didn't even realize how I made my fans really excited. Even Sonic fans, new Sonic fans, I didn't know. Um, uh, yet, but well, but because you know, if when I'm making dubstep songs, um, uh, my creation, I um, I mean, uh, I don't have a lot of views, like 500, 600, and when when I make Sonic Movie 2 content, not if not only Sonic Movie 2, but Sonic uh, in general, uh, there was a lot and a lot of fans coming in uh, like 1000 some sometimes uh, 5000 and even my remixes uh, 10000 50000 and maybe maybe i will reach 100000 i'm i'm not so sure but 
yeah, this is incredible. That that makes my my uh, YouTube channel growing so so fast. Make one making side content, and maybe I will make a new song or a music, a fun music for the Sonic movie. Uh, I don't know when, but we'll see in the future. I was truly excited about the Sonic movie casting, uh, about how my favorite characters came back and how they were uh, amazing. The second movie is it's a really really great work thanks to Paramount. They did a really good job. I think this is what the fans really wanted to for this amazing movie, like like me and the others. <laughs> we hope now to see more Sonic movie content, like the upcoming Sonic movie three as well as the Knuckles series which is already in development and announced before the release date of the Sonic Movie 2. Also I was so excited to, about the, the Sonic producers when they decided to make a Sonic Cinematic Universe like Marvel did with the Avengers. Also unfortunately I learned that Jim Carrey uh, said that he was going to retire when, uh, when he was interviewed in the, for the Sonic Movie 2. But I hope he will he will come back um, to do his great heart as, as Dr. Robotnik or Eggman because we all think he's amazing and his personality in the movie is really similar to uh, to Eggman's personality in the games and the TV shows. <sighs> we can't already wait for the Sonic movie free to come, which probably will be released in 2024. If, uh, after watching uh, uh, the Sonic movie 2 post credits where there, were, there was a shadow appearing at the end of the, of the movie. Even if it's really far, I can't wait to see it. But I've got one word about movies. Not only Sonic content, but uh, about all the movies. If the movie is coming uh, before the US release date in your country, don't spoil, don't spoil the, the Sonic fans, as it would be, it would be um, really, really, really disappointing the, the Sonic, the, the fans who wants to see the movie, and it will, it will um, probably ruin their life if they want, to, if they really want. To. So don't, don't spoil it. Like, like Sonic said, hashtag don't spoil Sonic 2. Like the other movies, yeah. <laughs> Also, for the Sonic Movie 3, maybe they will, they will uh, release a, a new t-shirt or a new merch, I don't know. But when I, when I watched the Sonic Movie 2, I was wearing this t-shirt, gonna go fast. <laughs> the official t-shirt of the Sonic Movie 2. And I hope, I hope there will be a new merch for the Sonic Movie 3. It was a really, really good 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 film a really good movie Sonic movie too a very very big film i really really love it hope to see more sonic content <laughs>